Right, so today Scott, for, uh, Scott announced their new TT bike, the Scott Plasma, um, which looks very similar to the Scott Foil, but we're also going to go through some nice features, which I actually think are is pretty sick. We'll get to the price as well, because obviously that is outrageous. So first of all, you can already see there's a lot of adjustments here. You've got bolts here, so you can change the angle of like the lever um, of like the extensions, which is pretty mega. Um, also here with like the width as well. And you can see they kind of look like a a watch shop copy in terms of like the design of the extension itself. Uh, they also say this is quite adjustable. I'm going to look at the time trial bike as well because it's got some kind of nicer features. But you can see here they're not going for a Cervelo like one blade. They're going for two uh, like two, two separate supports. Um, and you can see here there's a lot of adjustability as well. Um, they've got disc brakes which is obviously big. I think they haven't updated this for a long time. Uh, the lowest drag at 55k an hour because after all everyone does ride at 55k an hour um and then they're just saying some things about sh uh, seat tube that's a little bit shorter save two watts i mean a lot of this stuff is pretty niche like how many people actually buy a new tt bike like minimal um but anyway the, the point is rider stability the forks different as well uh it's changed i think that makes it more like a road bike you can see here they're doing some some complex uh, adjusting uh, in front of a computer, which is, pr which is pretty mega. But what you can see here is that like, it does go up and down, but it also goes out as well. So you can like undo this and get it longer. So it is actually pretty decent, but again, it means you kind of have to have that aero bars. You don't have to, but it seems like it's pretty integrated and like hard to not have it. Um, so again, you can see more aer ergonomics. They just more chat, more chat, more chat. But what you can see here is kind of what the point I want to say is that you can change the angle of the TT bar up and down, which is pretty cool. You can change the grip, which is pretty sick. And you can also change the length as well. The base bar you can change as well. So you can like change the reach on the base bar. I think the stem is the same maybe. Oh no, no, sorry, the stem changes. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's two different options for the stem. Uh, and then again, you can change the height here. Um, like obviously if, i assume it has to be slammed but you can change the height of the extension there which is decent um and then you can see like you can have it tucked in or not which again is good they don't say the width of the bars i assume they're going to be narrower than they used to make them uh it's 12 percent lighter which is always good they do look pretty wide bars to be fair but like it looks pretty slick um obviously 33 seconds quicker than their f other bike which i think is useless like, maybe that's just me, but that doesn't seem that much. But I guess, you know, you're getting to marginal points in TTs. Obviously, 30 seconds is large on, like, to save that amount of time is big. But I kind of thought their claim would be more outrageous. Um, and then we just keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, then people who are paid to ride their bikes say their bike is good. You would have never guessed it. Uh, big typo here, oil. Um, but yeah, like, you know, obviously people who get paid to ride their bikes are going to say it's good. And here's the cost, £7,900 for a frame set, which is pretty mental. Um, I'm not really sure that uh, you can really justify that. I mean, that is pretty crazy. Um, but what we are going to see is we're going to see the the TT bike, the tri bike, which is actually kind of like, obviously, what they would do with no, no rules. Just some storage. It looks pretty similar, to be honest. The forks are obviously different. But what they do have is the adjustability thing. So you can kind of see it. So you can see it being moved up and down. But this looks like a one one piece as well, which is kind of more rogue. Um, and then you can also tilt it as well, which is pretty mega. And you can also have it going up and down. So it is definitely different, the triathlon one. But I also think it's actually quite cool the way they've done it. Um, and then they say it's easier to travel as well, which I assume the other one is probably easier to travel as well. Um, but they just didn't say it because like if you buy this bike, I don't know, maybe they don't think you travel. Um, but anyway, you can see again, like, it's um, it's pretty cool bike, but pretty expensive. So the question is, how similar is it to the Scott Foil? And I reckon pretty similar. Like, in terms of the way the, like, main triangle is, it's it's pretty similar. Um, I think the only difference, really, is obviously just, like, the seat tube um, is going to be a little bit different um, if we kind of have them side by side. You can see, like the kind of design of the tubes is identical. It's just the geometry. Obviously, this is going to be have a, like a sloping top tube but the other way because you really want to get it as low as possible and then you have the spaces up here because on the on a road bike, obviously, you're actually going to ride on that position. But on a TT bike, you want to have it so it's not as different, um, if that makes sense. I kind of didn't explain that well, but I hope you do. Like, the seat stays as well. Like look pretty similar. 
the angle here looks identical as well. So I think they must have copied a lot. Um, the fork is different. It is slightly thicker here, I think. Um, just, I guess, they really need to focus on the arrow more than the weight. Um, but yeah, apart from that, like it is a similar bike. We can also look at seat angle as well. Like you're way more over the BB, which is kind of better for time trialing. So you can see here, like the seat angle is obviously further back um, for the road bike. But all in all, I think it's a decent bike. Uh, probably a step up on the last one for sure. However, you know, it is kind of mental 7.5k for a frame set. But they are very niche. Like, who's actually going to buy one? Uh, not many people. Um, you know, especially the road bike version. The TT version, for sure. The tri version, for sure, people will buy. But, you know, for for the, um, for a sort of a CTT or, you know, like a, a normal human, I, I don't think many people will buy this. But anyway, it's good to see some, some uh, changes. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.